People want something to eat so their place is crowded, and the cook asks, Who's next? Takes 5 seconds there is some confusion about who is exactly next this takes 10 seconds. Suddenly there's a client's maybe the dominant alpha male he decides you know what our next 2 seconds again. This client approaches the counter and attempts to read the wall menu. But it's quite far away and the font size is also not that big. Then you're gonna have the situation. The client tries to pronounce the name of the dish correctly, and tries to find out whether it's gluten free or not. The cook gets annoyed because the customer does not to pronounce correctly and then the client finally finds out that indeed it is gluten free and he says then I have one of those. Okay look at the amount of time that is basically spent on these activities. The cook asks which size and if you look here there's no way that the client can actually know which sizes are available how big exactly is large how big is medium how big is small. Okay so what has to happen is that the client says I don't know which sizes do you have can I see them. The cook grabs three sizes from below the counter, and shows him another 15 valuable seconds of loss. The client says you know what the middle one kind of looks okay. The cook charges and gets paid, and he actually cooks and, he walks from the register to the pan and ingredients and starts cooking so he goes from here to here starts cooking and you know what happens. Because the client is here, when he's done, he walks back. Okay let's go back. He takes the food back towards the cash register grabs chopsticks from below the register and presents the food and the chopsticks to the client. And finally at the end, he cleans the floor so there is no danger of slipping. 30 seconds in total it takes. And why does he do that? Because when he's walking back and forth with the food, he spills sometimes the food of or gets slippery. Ah he slipped and broke his arm once and he doesn't want that to reoccur any time in the future. But what I did here is I indicated whether each activity is waste. Then I use the color red or value added. Then I use the color green or still waste but let's say kind of value added waste. And then I use the color yellow. Yellow means that there's still waste. But it's difficult to eliminate this waste you don't have value to the client but it's difficult to eliminate so I sign basically each category to an activity and I end up with this. And I come to the conclusion to the shocking conclusion, that the only thing that is really adding value to the client is when the dish is being prepared all the other parts here in this process are not really adding value to the client. The client for instance should know whether a dish is gluten free, or not and he should know what you know what a medium size looks like what a large size looks like what our small size looks like. But he should not get that information by engaging into this conversation with the cook with a rather expensive assets in this hole. But he should get this information in some other way alright so for this reason I say it's not really value adding to the client this conversation. So how do we get rid of some of the waste there we use some creativity and some of our skills.